everyone, um, welcome to the final lesson of the week. Um, so this is the last topic on maths. Um, you guys have done so well with grasping the concept and I've been so happy with the work you've been sending in. Um, so keep sending it in. So uh, let's start today's lesson, shall we? Right, so today's date is the 19th of June 2020. The LIE is to solve maths word problems and you will need a pencil, a ruler and some paper. Now, we've done a lot of work on maths, um, comparing maths, measuring maths, um, finding maths on a scale and when learning how to read scales and intervals. And really, um, that knowledge those are that knowledge that we've acquired as skills that we, we, we need to use to apply to word problems. That's what we're looking at today. So trying to put your maths on maths in real life context. This number talk is simply three kilograms plus, plus 400 grams plus 700 grams equals what? So pause the video, have a go. So the answer is, Three kilograms. So if you change this, change this first into grams. It's three thousand grams, and you can add them all together. Okay, and the answer. So three thousand grams plus four hundred grams plus seven hundred grams. The total would be four thousand and one hundred grams, or four kilograms and 100 grams, okay? The key vocabulary is mass, weight, intervals, gram, kilogram and scales, um, which is the vocabulary we've been using all week. Um, so you should be very familiar with it. As today, we're using our knowledge of math to solve math problems as we discussed earlier. So how many grams make a kilogram? Um, this is no secret now. We know the answer to this question and hopefully you're all shouting at the screen, Mrs. Riot, a thousand grams make a kilogram. And you'd be right. Good. Right, so the mass of an apple is about what? What do you think a mass of one apple is? You think it's about two grams, about 20 kilograms, about 200 kilograms? about 200 grams or about two kilograms? What do you think? I would say a fair guess would be, i to underline it now, would be this, maybe 200 grams. Two grams seems too light. 20 kilograms seems too heavy because if you think about one kilogram is one normal bag of sugar, that's one kilogram. So an apple wouldn't be 20 of those. Um, unlikely to be two kilograms and very unlikely to be two in 200 kilograms. Two grams, two lights, so I would say 200 grams. Okay, so I need to move my face out of the way. So I put these masses in order, starting with the heaviest, um, I'm going to the lightest. So here are your, here are your different measurements. How would you work this out? Think about how you'd work this out. Have a go first, pause the video, and then we'll go through it. Now, what would help in the situation is if we they all have the same unit of measurement. And I always think it's easier to use grams. So 800 grams does, does not need conversion because it's as we expect. Um, half a kilogram, as we know, is the same as 500 grams. And one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. So now we've converted them, this makes it a lot easier for us to put the figures in. So you can see, now that they're all the same, same, using the same unit of measurement, the lightest is 60 grams, followed by 500 grams, then 800 grams, and then 1,000 grams. So let's put them in these boxes, starting with the heaviest. The heaviest is 1,000 grams. That would go here. Next heaviest is 800 grams. That would go here. Then it's 500 grams. 
and then it is 60 grams. There you go, that's the order. So here's our next problem. Joe places some apples on a weighing scale and the pointer shows the mass of these apples. He takes away one apple and the mass goes down by 120 grams. Draw the pointer to its new position on the scale opposite. So how would you work this out? So first we need to work out what is the first number? So let's see. This, uh, so 700 to 800 with one, two, three, four, five intervals, five little intervals. So each interval is, is 20 grams. So this is 720, 740, 760 grams, okay? So, so he starts with 750 grams. When he takes away one apple, the mass goes down by 120 grams. So the new, the new, um, the new weight on the, the new mass on this on this second scale should be the answer to this question. So what is 750 to put 120? It is 630 grams. So we would, if I had my arrow, where is this 620? It'd be pointing. there that's where the, the pointer would be good job guys now try this possibly a try this here is some flour on a weighing scale how many grams of flour on the scale how much more flour must be added to the scale to make 1.6 kilograms so um pause the video and have a go at that right so um how many grams on the scale so let's see what three kilograms in total uh, if this is if this is one kilogram with one ten intervals in between, um, that means each interval is um, uh, is a hundred grams. Okay, so one, two, three is four hundred grams. Four hundred grams of flour already on there. Um, we want to get up to one thousand six hundred grams, that's what 1.6 kilograms in grams. So to work that out, 1,600 grams, take away 400 grams equals 1,200 grams. Oh, that's not equal, sign. equals 1,200 grams. So that's, that's how you work out this word problem. And here we go. Let's try this. Will you try this? A piece of cheese has a mass of 350 grams. Mark an arrow on the scale to show the reading for 350 grams. It's retesting your ability to read the scale. So point at where you think 350 grams should be. So here's our scale. So we know between here and here is 500 grams. So we have one, two, three, four, five big intervals in between, which means that each interval is 100 grams, and then you've got one that's halfway, which must be 50 grams. So let's go one, two, three. This here is 350 grams. I'm going to show you, get my arrow to show you. Let's make it red. Uh, where am I? One, two, yep, so it'd be. It's a bit. Off. I'm trying to move it so it's no, it's not really okay. Let's see, that's better. That's pointing at the interval in the middle. That point shows 350 grams, right? So, Mina and Annie stand on some scales, they weigh 72 kilograms together. Annie weighs 34 kilograms. How much does Mina weigh? Okay, now how would we work that out? I think a good way to, to illustrate this would be using the part whole model, okay? So, I'm going to just quickly draw this. Right, so here we are. We, this. And this, 
and right so together so the sum is 72 kilograms um annie weighs 34 kilograms okay so how much does um mina weigh to work this out 72 take away 34 so 72 take away 34 equals 0.5 